So my own biography is this. I grew up in Southern California, Manhattan Beach, California, surfing USA. In any case, I became Muslim and I went to England and started visiting North Africa and Morocco on a regular basis. And that's when I met a sheikh who said, you should do medicine. My first teacher turned out to be a uh, homeopath that treated me for my chronic asthma and cured me permanently of my chronic asthma. I was invited to Pakistan by Hakim Muhammad Saeed. Some of you know his name. He was one of the most famous Hakims, traditional Hakims in the, in the world. He used to speak for the World Health Organization. And I learned from my teacher in Pakistan, uh, Hakim Takuddin Ahmed. And he said, you know, I learned from my grandfather who taught me in the forest. And his grandfather was Nizamuddin from Ajmer in India. Holistic doctors who were total healers understand is typified by what the Prophet said. He said, in the body there is an organ, and when that organ is sound, the body is sound. And that organ is the heart. And what that points to is something that is indicated by people who practice what we could call holistic medicine, people who heal as opposed to people who manage illness or who get you through the night or who stop pain alone. People who heal are the people who make whole. Health, the word health comes from the word holf, meaning to be whole. But in the really high, the, the Hakims that were considered really high in their practice were the ones that understood this single simple food has by its nature something in it that's healing and curative that's beyond the sugars in it. The date, for example, or the peach. And my teacher, you know, he recommended peaches for the liver. And I tell you, for anyone who's ever had problems with their liver, had gallstones, or ever had any kind of hepatitis, to eat fresh peaches in the springtime, when they first come out, local, organic peaches, it's like breathing fresh air. But we underestimate the quality of a single simple thing, like the peach, like the date, like the almond, like the watermelon. Oh, you know how many people, you know, I have people, so many people who are so thankful to me to this day. There's a man in New Mexico. He was about to have a kidney stone operation, and I said, well, and he was in great pain. And I said, well, eat watermelon. And he never had to go for the surgery. These are means by which we achieve health. You know, I could talk about calcium and carbohydrates and Atkins and this kind of exercise and all that. I could go on and on about that. But this is bottom line stuff. Breathing, feeling alive, filling yourself with hamd and shukra, relating to each other. This alone is a healing. This is a medicine. It's a forgotten medicine.